Good evening, people watching. I'm at 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you a verse of scripture. I got a lot of news. Looks like this is a go with Iran. This is definitely a go. 2 Corinthians 3.17 Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Praise God. Let me give you the uh, gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life folks the rapture is literally at the door and this gospel is the most important thing that you can do there is nothing else on the face of the planet that is more important than accepting christ as savior nothing how do you do that you admit you're a sinner in need of christ the moment you put your faith and trust in him and his blood, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are protected by the blood of Jesus, rapture ready, which is literally going to happen at any time, and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you, and change you if you let him. If you let him come in with you and dine with you, and you with him, that's the way it goes. He will change you. So this just came out tonight. So again, this is <laughs> this is off of a. Uh, Wait a minute, something else just came in. Hold on a minute. Um, so this is just came in. So it says that Iran has stopped all air traffic in around Tehran from now until midnight local time. No stated reason. Um, Iranian defense minister at exactly midnight. We announced the cessation, the cessation of all flights in the skies of Tehran, domestic and international, as of right now. So, um, this is saying that international and local companies have suddenly canceled flights to and from Iran tonight. Turkish mediation uh, to prevent escalation was rejected by Iran. All active Iranian army units are right now on alert and all officers have been called to duty. All vacations have been canceled. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard has canceled the leave of its members and stated it has entered into a state of war as we speak. The Israeli War Cabinet has convened an urgent emergency meeting in Tel Aviv, according to the Jerusalem Post, an urgent briefing from the Pentagon to Biden right now. An Egyptian source claims that the U.S. Fifth Fleet in the Persian Gulf has been brought to 100% combat readiness over the past hour. According to him, the Americans informed Egypt about what is happening right now. So right now, folks, this thing is going down. The thing that stuck out the most is the fact that Turkish mediation to prevent escalation was rejected by Iran. This is going to happen tonight. This is definitely going to happen tonight. Now... Um, let 
Let me see if there's anything else. Hold on a minute. Yeah, just as the Egyptian source claims that the U.S. 5th Fleet in the Persian Gulf has been brought to 100% combat readiness over the past hour. It says we, are, we have entered a state of war right now. This is it. Now, another thing. And let me explain something to everybody. If you need to fill up your gas tank, I would do it now. I definitely would do it now. It says the price of crude oil today has risen as a result of this war that's about to happen. Uh, so in the, fa the, fa the past five days, Israeli and U.S. officials have shifted their assessments of when Iran will retaliate. Now this came out before the article I just read you came out. So this says foreign diplomatic missions are already preparing for a potential strike, making contingency plans for um, evacuation amid requests from Israeli authorities about emergency supplies like generators and satellites and so forth. Unconfirmed reports claim Israel warned Iran that any attack could lead to Israeli strikes on multiple Iranian sites and the end of Iran's nuclear program. Israel is going to try to strike. Israel is talking about striking Iran's nuclear plant. This thing just went into high gear. But if the Iranians were already aware of this and have reportedly factored in a major Israeli response to whatever ongoing plans they might have. So the Iranians know that Israel has been pushing for global military action against its ongoing nuclear program. So the Israelis have been screeching for years about it. Now Israel sees that no other nations are going to hit Iran, so the Israelis have to do it themselves. Now, if they hit that power plant, if they hit their nuclear program, you're going to have all hell to pay with Russia, Syria, and everybody else. I don't know... I have no idea what's going to happen here. I'm not pretending like I know. I don't know. But this has just ramped up to full speed ahead now. There is no turning back on this. Israel should, um, it says here, the embassy hit an all rhetoric back and forth. Um, and I got to be careful with him because like I said, uh, Hal Turner don't like Israel or anything about Israel. But some of the stuff you got to pick and choose because some a lot of the stuff he's right about. So, um, Iran now has a... Listen to this. <laughs> I've been saying this all along. Iran now has a supply of highly enriched uranium that could be converted to weapons-grade fuel for at least three bombs in a time frame ranging from now into weeks from now. A U.S. official says they are dancing right up to the edge, according to Washington Post newspaper. Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant said the day anyone who tries to attack us, Israel, will encounter strong defense and immediately thereafter a powerful response on our territory. Now, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, this was an update. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken called Turkey's foreign minister tonight amid reports that a major Iranian missile and drone strike against military and government targets in Israel is imminent right now. U.S. officials tell Al Jazari, we do not rule out launching joint retaliatory, uh, retaliatory strikes with Israel if it is attacked by Iran or its agents. And the U.S. official also says that if Israel is attacked by missiles and drones, the U.S. will may help intercept them. It says may help intercept them. Your guess is as good as mine if they're going to do it or not. Um, let me see what else is out. Hold on a minute. Um.
Now, this was also developing. And this is off of uh, Jerusalem Post. It's saying that Israel Air Force strikes targets in Rafah. Now, this is a developing story, so I don't know if it happened or not. I'm waiting for an update on that right now. Ay, 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 it's a lot going on right now. So, now listen to this. Russia, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, and the UN coordinator for the Middle East peace process called on Wednesday for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza conflict after holding talks in Moscow, the Russian Foreign Minister said. The importance was stressed of an immediate ceasefire, the provision of safe, unhindered access to all those affected and in need, and the release of the people, the ministry said after Lavrov met in Moscow. Now, listen very carefully. <laughs> this is all leading up to one big war, and it is the War of Armageddon. That means the church has to be gone relatively soon for that to happen. I'm going to link all this in the description box. I'm going to keep track of this. If anything comes out uh, tonight, I'll be back on. Right now, i got to go pick up Zach, so I'll be back on later. Thank you.